Hi everyone, this is Dave, and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel, and welcome to the editing room. In today's video, I have got a very useful device in the editing room, sitting just over here in the corner. This is the QNAP TVS882T. Now, the reason that this particular product is very useful is because not only does it act as a NAS device, so network attached storage, allowing you to store all your files in a central location and then access them across multiple computers, but it also acts as a DAS, which is a direct attached storage device. You can connect it directly to your computer via Thunderbolt 2, and in my case, I've got it connected to my Mac Pro. Now, this takes six three and a half inch drives, and also two two and a half inch solid state drives. I wanna say a big, big thank you, not only to QNAP for sending this out to me to review, but also to Toshiba, who sent me out four of these. These are six terabyte X300 three and a half inch SATA hard drives. And also two of these. These are their Q300 Pro solid state drives, two and a half inches for the ultimate performance. Now, setting up the QNAP TVS 882T is very, very easy indeed. Now you see across the back of the device, you've got all of the connections. So I've got this connected to an ethernet switch to connect it to my network. And I've also got it connected via Thunderbolt 2, so that direct connection as well. And then around the front, we can see the two, two and a half inch bays for the solid state drives and also the six three and a half inch bays for the hard drives. And they're extremely easy to take out and very, very straightforward to populate with both the hard drives and the SSDs and get everything up and running. And once this is switched on, you can move over to the computer. You launch QFinder, which is a very easy app to use. It just locates all of the QNAP devices on your network and it allows you to walk through the stages for setting up the device. And it really does guide you at every single stage. And then once this is set up, it's just a matter of creating your volumes and your access and your users. And it is very, very easy to do. We've got very simple icon driven interface. And then once everything's set up, you can even access things like apps and install extra functionality to the device. So once everything's set up, it's just a matter of deciding how you're gonna utilize the space. So for me, I've got those two solid state drives set up in a RAID 0 configuration for maximum performance. There's no data backup at all. The two drives are striped and it's gonna give me the maximum data throughput. I'm gonna be using those for 4K video editing. And then the four three and a half inch SATA drives, so the hard drives, I'm using those for backup purposes. So every day it will back up the work that I've completed on the 4K drive and keep a constant backup of that and also allow me to store my completed video files. Now the TBS 882T doesn't stop there. It does so much more than just allow you to store your files. It also allows you to install apps as I mentioned previously and they can do things like serve up video, also a surveillance station for if you've got IP cameras, some sort of security system installed in your office, and a whole lot more besides. It also comes supplied with this remote control. On the back of the unit, we've also got some HDMI ports, and this allows you to actually connect this to a television, for example, and access the system via this remote. It's very, very useful, and it just extends the usability of the TVS 882T. Now, I'm not gonna show you how this performs in this particular video, because I wanna use it for a little bit longer, just so I can make a really good assessment of how it's working in my particular workflow situation. But rest assured, I have done some quick tests, and the two SSDs in that particular configuration are working very well for 4K video editing. And that's over the Thunderbolt connections, that direct connection. And then of course, I've got the four three and a half inch drives set up so that I can access those across my network because this is connected via ethernet. So I've got the best of both worlds and I'm really enjoying the flexibility of a system like this. So please do stay tuned to the Geek Noise channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. And then you won't miss out when I publish my update on the QNAP TVS 882T. And also I'll leave a link to where you can actually pick up one of these for yourself. 
Thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again in another video very soon.